Hi everyone, welcome back. So in the previous video we have seen how to implement the scale update function so that whenever the music plays, the scale widget moves as well. So in this video we are going to see how to create a pause and play functionality in our music player. And here we are going to implement pause and play feature in the same button. So let's code it. Now see, what I want is to implement the play and pause functionality in the same button. Now what we are doing is whenever the user clicks on the play button then we are calling this play song function now this play song function resets every parameter like progress scale time lapse label and everything it starts this song from very beginning now how can i make the play song button to understand whether i want to play the song or pause the song now for that before calling the play song function we need to check if the user wants to play the song or pause the song so in between we have to create another function which will first check whether the song needs to be paused or play and after that we will call the respective function play or pause so let's create another function that will be check play pause okay now how can the button itself recognize whether uh, to play or pause so we will create a list which will hold songs uh, let's say we are playing a song a and we press the button so what it will do is add the song a to the list of the current playing song now if the song a is playing and we again click on the play button so what it means it means we want to pause it so it again adds the same song a to the list box now we will compare if the current song in the list is equal to the just previous one if both are equal it means the user wants to pause the song but if both are not equal, it means we want to play the next song or the new song. So let's create a list box here. Self dot songs to play. I hope you understood what I wanted to say. Now here in the check play pause, we are going to add the current active song to the songs to play list box. Self dot songs to play dot append self dot songs list dot get here active now our self dot songs to play list has this song now we will check if the last index of this list and the last second index of this list are same or not if both are same it means we want to pause it so first we need to find the length of the self dot songs to play length equal to self dot no length of self dot songs to play now here we will check if self dot songs to play length minus one if it is not equal to self dot songs to play length minus two if both are not equal it means we want to play the next new song so we will here just play this song i mean call this function first we will cancel the updater whichever song is playing self dot root dot after cancel and self dot updater and then we will just call the play song function self dot play song now this is the case when both songs are different in the list but if both are same, that is if self dot no, we will just implement the else part. That is if the last index and the last second index are same, then we need to pause the song. So we will call a function which we will create later. Pause and pause. Now we need to create this function self dot pause and pause, and we will also create one variable here self dot pause equals to false. Now let's create this function is self dot pause and pause. And we will check if the self dot pause is false. It means if it is false, then the user wanted to pause the song. So if not self dot pause, if it is not paused, so we need to pause it. Self dot root dot after cancel. Since we need to pause it, so we need to cancel the updater. That is the scale that is moving. So here we'll pass self dot updater. Now after that, we will need to change the image of the play button. So we will change that self dot play button dot config and here we will provide the image of self dot play icon now after this we will need to change the parameter of self dot pause to true and here we will also change the status bar so that it actually displays that the song is now paused self dot status config and here we will provide f string paused and here will be self dot songs list dot get active means this song is paused and we will also provide here Self dot songs list dot index of the Arctic song and we will plus it one and after this self dot songs 
list dot size now we need to actually pause it so for that we have a functionality in pygame pygame dot mixer dot music dot pause so this will pause the song now if we again click on that button now since self dot pause is true it means we want to unpause the song so here we'll provide the else part and here we will say self dot pause equals to false and now here we will change the play button image so self dot play button dot config and here we will provide the image to self dot pause icon and after this we also need to change the status bar so let's just copy paste this now here instead of paused will be plain and everything will be same now we need to unpause it so we again have this functionality in pygame pygame dot mixer dot music dot unpause and after this we need to again start the update function means scale update functionality so self dot scale update now our pause and pause feature is uh, finished now we need to provide this check play pause function to our play button so that after going through this check pause or play function will be called so let's add this so in our self dot play button instead of play song we will specify self dot check play pause now let's see if it works or not so let's add the song here we'll create this now songs are added to the playlist and now play media player object has no attribute updater so we are getting this error here in 200 line it is not recognizing self dot updater so when we are playing the song then it should first execute the play song function but instead of it it is actually calling this pause and pause it is because uh, we are checking here if self dot songs to play length minus one that is last index song is equal or not equal to the last second index now at the time of playing the first song we just have a single song in the list but we are accessing the last second index which is not present there so we will need to specify one more check here that is if length of that is if a single song is present in self dot songs to play list then we need to play the song not pause the song self dot songs to play equal to one then we need to just play the song self dot play song now it will be in elif part so elif and now it should work fine let's run the code again so here we will add the song and now play it so here is an error uh, even though we paused the song but still it didn't work uh, there was an error here in self dot songs pause and pause status dot config paused okay so the error was that we need to provide this uh, text here in a parameter text we can't just pass it to config so now it should work fine and we also need to change here here also we need to provide the text yes now let's run the code action add the song and let's play it so as you can see as i click on the play button it gets paused and when again if i click it it gets unpaused and on pausing the scale update also gets stopped and this time elapsed label also gets stopped so our play and pause feature is working really fine and we have implemented this one in the same single button now what we need to do is change one or two line in the next and previous song functionalities that is when we click on the next song button and then it is actually calling the play song function but it needs to pass through the check first so we need to instead of play song we need to provide the uh, self dot check play pause and here too we need to provide this self dot check play pause and here also check and here to check play pause let's run the code again and see if it is giving us any error or not
as you can see our status bar also gets changed and our music is also uh, navigating perfectly so our play and pause feature that is pause and pause functionality is completed we have implemented that very well we understood how actually we need to implement this in a single button so that's it for this video now in the next video we will see how to seek the song that is how we can move the song forward or backward when we manually seek or move the skill widget so we will see that in the next video so that's it for this video we'll meet in the next one bye bye